Okay, we talked just uh, in, in our part one of our lecture on visual aids, we talked about uh, just the overall use of visual aids and we talked about PowerPoints in general. Now let's talk about some of the other items that you could use for visual aids and then how to work them into your speech presentation. Uh, first of all, let's talk about flip charts. These uh, used to be used a lot and usually these are used more in uh, small settings, boardrooms, uh, maybe a small classroom, that sort of thing, because remember, if you're in front of a large audience, unless you have a giant screen and a camera focused on you to transmit your picture and what you're talking about uh, with your flip chart onto the giant screen for the auditorium that you're in, then uh, chances are people beyond rows two, three, and four aren't going to be able to see much of what's on that flip chart. So again, probably going to be used for a small audience. If you do use it, especially the first few times that you use a flip chart. Try to get the giant chart and draw out the information on it in advance so that you're not trying to talk and draw at the same time or write at the same time. Uh, the same could be said, I guess, if you're going to be using uh, a chalkboard or, uh, or some other form of, uh, uh, of instrument like this where you have to do some writing uh, as you go along. Try to do it beforehand so that all you have to do is refer back to it as you would a PowerPoint slide. And again, if you're writing as you go along, if you do decide to do that, try to practice enough in advance that your back is not turned to the audience at all times. Try to be able to write down one, uh, one line and then turn around and continue on with your presentation for a few moments until you need to write the next one. But remember, uh, with a PowerPoint, with flip charts, with anything you do, you want your audience to have eye contact with you at least 90% of the time. So if your back is turned to them all the time while they're writing, you lose that personal touch there. Uh, handouts. Uh, don't pass out these before a speech unless maybe this is an outline and you want the audience to be taking notes along with you. Uh, rather, if you, if you give them handouts before, chances are they're going to be reading that information. It's another distraction to get in the way of listening to your presentation. Uh, a good rule of thumb would be, again, unless these are, are pre-prepared notes that you want the audience to follow along and take notes on, uh, just save your, your handout until you are through and then pass it out to members of the audience as they leave the room. Uh, let's talk about show and tell audio, uh, uh, show and tell images for just a moment or objects. First of all, don't pass it around to the audience because the audience is going to be spending time, uh, if it's coming to them, looking down the line and waiting for it to get to them and then they're going to be looking and maybe they're showing it to their neighbor or whatever it is that they're doing with it before they pass it on to the next person. And again, it's a distraction. You don't want that, so don't pass it around. Have it with you and have it where you can refer to it easily and also practice with it so that when you hold it up and you talk about it and you need to point to it, practice so that you're comfortable doing that so that you don't talk about my phone, for example, and then you stop and go, oh, I'm supposed to point to this. See, the timing was all wrong. Make sure that you have worked on that. So it, it, you use this with, with anything that you're going to do any of the visual aids. Practice with them. Get used to using them. If you're using a PowerPoint, for example, set it up on your home computer. Put the slideshow on and go through it. Use that PowerPoint as an outline rather than something to read from. This is an outline for the audience. It is not your speech. Your speech has, should have lots of additional information and the outline just helps you to follow through and convey that message to the audience. If you're going to use a flip chart, practice turning the pages, practice using this. Uh, show and tell items again. Pick them up, hold them, use them while you practice, and practice in front of a mirror or videotape yourself so that you can see, am I being smooth? Am I, you know, it, it, does it look like I've rehearsed using this phone to talk about, what, talk about the phone in my presentation? Uh, again, pick the type of visual aid based on your audience. Uh, large audience, I would use a PowerPoint or an overhead because you're not going to be able to get everyone to see what it is you're showing them uh, if it is a show and tell audience or a show and tell item or, or again the flip chart. A small audience, 
uh, use the show and tell, uh, go ahead and use the PowerPoint. The, the PowerPoint or overheads usually work in just about any situation. The final thing to think about is Murphy's Law. And I have been doing presentations and all long enough to know that Murphy's Law does come into play here. Have a backup in case the projector doesn't work or someone forgot the power cord or forgot the cable that attaches the computer to whatever uh, or your flash drive doesn't let download. There are all these things that can happen so have a backup in mind. And I'll give you an example of what can happen. Uh, you, well, t First of all, before we get to the example, think of this. Get to the location where you're going to be speaking early. Check the PowerPoint. Check and make sure that it loads. If you've got uh, music or videos that you're going to be using as part of your presentation, make sure that they load and you have them ready at hand. So all you have to do is punch the button and they start. Now, by getting there and double checking early does not mean Murphy's Law won't take effect and, and cause you problems again. So when you check, recheck as well. Uh, here's the example. I was uh, emceeing an event a number of years ago, a couple of thousand people in the audience, and this was uh, really a very nice evening. And uh, uh, we had a, a pre-record, had, had created a video presentation to go along with the, uh, the evening. And this presentation, or this, uh, this video, was uh, a major block of the evening. Well, we got there early, we made sure the videotapes were working, we made sure the machines were working, all the television monitors were working, the sound was there, everything was great, except that after we did that initial check, the sound person forgot to rewind the videotape. And when it came time to actually, when I announced the video and here we go, there's no video and it was a long piece so it took a long time to rewind it and it just destroyed the mood of that video because we didn't have it ready even though we double checked it we didn't have it ready when the time came to use it so remember get there early check it and then double check it but also remember even when you check and double check things still happen uh, cables get unplugged uh, you know chairs fall over Things happen that can cause problems. And if nothing else works, you have your outline, you know your speech, give it.